to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. You should be so convinced that you say, I love you, I respect your opinion. Because can I tell you this prophetically? I hate to say this, but it's true. As we approach the end times, you are going to see the falling away of many people who were once strong in the faith, standing for Jesus Christ. Many will tell you, I am tired. You see it happening in the West now. After many years of serving Jesus, they say, you know what? I'm tired of this Jesus thing. I want to go and live my life. encounters will give you the staying power to finish to the end take it high for me there's a hymn that just came to my mind oh jesus i have promised to serve thee till the end be thou forever near me, my master and my friend. I shall not fear the battle if thou art by my side. No wonder from the pathway if thou will be these were the hymns we sang in the seminary when we sang these hymns i wish we had a revelation of what we were saying we were just singing it hungry and waiting for the service to finish so that we could go and eat during the length period it was like headache oh dear this fasting again and they raised that hymn and we murmur it with anger in our hearts such rich truth i have promised to serve you to the end we'll sing it one more time it's a commitment oh jesus i have promised to serve thee till the end be thou forever near me, my master and my friend. I shall not fear the battle if thou art by my side no wonder from the pathway if thou will be mine on christ the solid rock i stand all other ground is sinking sand all other ground is sinking sand hmm. to the end no falling by the wayside because it has come from an encounter an encounter that is greater than prosperity whether you heal me or not my love for you remains intact whether you lift me or not my love for you remains intact 
whether you lift me or not my love for you remains intact whether ministry expands or not as far as my loving you is concerned there is no bending please take it high for me how big he worshiping all of the days of my life how big he worshiping all of the days of my life how big he serving you all of the days of my life how be he serving you all of the days of my life how be he loving you all of the days of my life how be he loving you all of the days of my life listen one thing i can tell you is i've made a commitment the encounter i have is greater than a sword is greater than a bullet is greater than money is greater than crowds you will never be able to serve the purposes of god in this end time until you have an encounter that is greater than anything you are the love of my life you are the hope that i cling to you mean more than this world to me i wouldn't trade you for silver or gold help them please i wouldn't trade you for riches on oh, oh, oh you are you are my enemy. The fathers that carried the gospel some of them died revealing jesus even at the point of death they died smiling encounters our generation hardly has encounters little persecution and people chicken away from god god are you there little persecution if you want to serve god to the end you need an encounter that is greater than preaching an encounter that is greater than the bible an encounter that is greater than tea and bread we have all kinds of interesting christians in our generation today five months your prayer is not answered you will leave the church i need to look for a solution five months lord i give you three months as a worker if you don't bless me after three months i will go back and we threaten god with all kinds of things hear me when i started my journey with god and many men of god here will tell you bishop by the privilege of god's grace when i started with god coming from the northern background i didn't even know that there was anything called honorarium never in my life i didn't know there was such a thing as honorarium that you actually will preach and they can give you a basket with banana and fruits and say thank you thank you for what it was such an honor to represent him but today if god does not deliver us from the rubbish that is happening in ministry how much will you give me which hotel will you keep me ah. you're my treasure my priority who can compare to you for great is the measure of your royalty 
oh morning star you truly are can i tell you this those that brought the gospel that we receive today i've had the honor of being in a few places that are monuments today those that brought the gospel to the east many young people are not students of history they just keep moving and having ministry and they don't learn the things that happened before they came this is why we thank god for the privilege of fathers like our bishop and we pray that god will keep him long for our sake so that when we are misbehaving they will tell us that before you were born this is how we serve god oh we were not serving god for tea and bread if you don't pay me i will not play the keyboard for you <laughs> there is a place to honor people there is a level that ministry can rise to that you need to employ people but it's a joke the mentality that we use to do ministry today no encounters why didn't you come to church the tire of my car spoiled ah. why did you stop coming for the conference the people inviting me did not treat me well do you know i say this with every sense of responsibility there are many ministries today if you make an altar call now as the people are getting born again you see people running around they don't know what next to do there are no cards to follow them up it was not in their plan to save anybody they don't even they would just say you please just be the elder i'm not talking of a non-denominational conference they don't even know what to do nobody's in charge of following those who are saved no that's why most of our people who get born again don't have encounters they are saying salvation prayers somebody is chewing gum and pinching their friends and laughing and you clap for them you say they are born again they were not born again no no sir that was not born again i assure you see i am both old and new school thank god you heard what bishop said we have to be careful this some of these things we call modern christianity if we are not careful we will never see the authentic power of god it is all this carelessness that some of us respectfully speaking we ship some of these things from everywhere and say it does not matter i know you don't like this morning sermon but love it all love it all if it is power you want over territories Gideon said why are we not seeing this power again why are we not seeing it as our others have seen he said destroy these idols there are idols there are idols many men of God today don't even know what a retreat is you ask them what is a retreat they know what a convention is they know what a conference is but they don't know what a retreat is what is a retreat they think it's just fasting if it's not in your presence if it's not from your hand if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it for everything i need is in you it's in you it's in you for everything i need is in you when i started my journey with god it was not power i was looking for it was not fame i was looking for no no I can tell you till today till tomorrow he's my pursuit not pulpit not fame many of us writing books have distracted us from an encounter to look for him i need to write books so that when i sell it i will make some money and god is saying i'm looking for your attention man of god this is not how we started 
dear believer this is not how we started we need to organize programs the more you organize programs the more the members stay and god is saying who taught you that i am here and you ignore me and you are doing ministry but the people that do know they are god hmm. the people that do know they are god oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh dear oh yeah gikaki oh yeah listen to me hear me we are going to pray tonight we are going to cast that crown forget that i'm a prophet a man of god keep your titles to yourself and cry before god and say lord this is not how we started i am here this morning not for celebration but for repentance genuine repentance men of you have held your bible but you left jesus a long time ago long time ago can i tell you this you don't crush altars by saying in the name of jesus i release enugu no there must be a track record of death there is a relationship between death and glory show me your face oh god what message do i have to preach when i have not seen you what will i tell pharaoh what will i tell the altars in enugu state that tie down the lives of destinies this one is more than just having anointing i assure you there are realms that are beyond just being anointed it's a track record of encounter that you can carry that presence moses did not say let anointing go with us he said if your presence your presence your presence an anointing is a subset of your presence if your presence will not go with me i will quit this ministry if your presence will not be with me let them say i'm backsliding but i i rather have a track record with you there's gonna be a great awakening over the east of the niger there's gonna be a great revival in your land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on jesus they will be saved hear me the final thing an encounter does is that an encounter brings you to a place of brokenness isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 an encounter brings you to a place where you are genuinely broken <laughs> it's a mystery in the spirit that only broken vessels can carry god in the year that king uzziah who was a man of god and a prophet of god over enugu state over nigeria apostle joshua selman great man of god let's see what god says about such a man in the year that king uzziah died i saw the lord hmm. until then i was hearing him and he was speaking to me but i'm about to see him now he was sitting upon a throne when i saw him high and lifted up and his train filled the temple verse 2 and above it stood the seraphims each one had six wings with two he covered his face with two he covered his feet with two he did fly 
Isaiah is having an encounter now. One cried to the other and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah was watching in this vision. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried and the house was filled with smoke then said I let me tell you what a genuine encounter does this right here is not condemnation there is a difference between condemnation and brokenness Woe is me he said I am undone undone means I have it's like cooking and tasting the food and say this food is not yet done I am undone nobody told him oh let me tell you this one of the evidences of a genuine encounter with God is a revelation of the true state of your hearts to you if it is the God of the Bible you meet he reveals the true state of your heart you can call yourself a preacher you can call yourself Apostle Joshua Selman men can call you man of god they can clap for you whilst you are climbing protocol can stand here but until you find out what god is saying about you you are not yet in ministry woe is me woe is me holy 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 is the lord god almighty is the lord god almighty my life is full of your glory this house is full of your glory watch this he said please keep the scripture for us now i am undone I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. This is the revelation of his holiness. For my eyes have seen the king. I didn't know you are the one who sent me that I'm doing ministry carelessly about. Now I am seeing you. Can I tell you the truth? I know what this experience looks like. I have shared my encounter many times. The day I met the Lord Jesus Christ, I knew that many preachers did not know him. It's not sarcasm. I'm telling you this. My goodness, my God. You have not seen anything like this until... That's why many of these revelations where people tell you they've met Jesus, I submit to you, it's not the Jesus of the Bible. If you actually meet Jesus, my brother, my sister, it does not matter what religion, it does not matter who you are you will really know you were created my goodness my god the splendor and the power that flows from him the beauty upon his face you can look at any part of his body for the rest of your life i'm telling you at that point i was with jesus if he had asked me let's go there is nothing on earth this is why you see there are people you are praying for to come back to life the moment their eyes see him they wave you bye bye say stop that prayer i need to go home can i tell you this believe me when i tell you if you see the jesus i saw there is nothing that will stop you from following him until death many of us have seen there are men we call tall dark and handsome wow handsome guy or a beautiful lady beautiful lady and just at that mundane sight you cannot sleep well wait till you see jesus ask john the revelator when he saw him in the isle of patmos 
he described him his hair was like wool when jesus appeared to me i, I didn't know should i die should i leave should i talk should i be quiet should i roll jesus and there he stood before me and i'm wondering my father my mother help her nobody ever told me he's not the founder of a religion no there are not many religions and one of them is founded by jesus consuming fire sweet perfume his awesome presence fills this room consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome glory fills this room listen i was flat on the ground flat on the ground if it's for an altar call i'll soon make an altar call before we pray flat on the ground and he looked at me the brilliance on his face i was there oh god i came from a background i never believed i would be a preacher my grandfather was a man of god but I can tell you what my heart was saying. Lord, if you're doing something in this city, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Lord, if you're healing many in this city, please don't do it without me. That was a cry that was in my heart. Lord, if you're lifting someone in this city, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. And all that he did to me, if Jesus just left, I would have been grateful for seeing him but his majesty stretched his right hand and light with such brilliance and power shot my entire being from head to toe it's like holding a high electric volt that will blow you into pieces his majesty and all that he did was to leave let me tell you the truth it took me more than one year to recover from that encounter i was not myself again help those under the anointing it took me more than one year i'm saying this because many of you in this season the the apostles and the prophets that are rising from this city you will need more than an ordination you need an encounter and a genuine encounter there are people rising oh i came to stir up a fire mm. more than sermons i came to stir up a fire more than preaching more than just singing songs there is a god of the bible i present to you yeshua hamashiach the son of the living God the crucified Christ exalted today as Lord and Christ exalted today as Lord and Christ I present to you the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David hear me his majesty is about to make a convocation in this place oh i know him worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb
he is the custodian of all power greater than any charm greater than any shrine when you know him you don't try to believe no i know him the king of kings and lord of lords faithful faithful is the lamb faithful faithful is the lamb faithful faithful is the lamb that was slain praise him hallelujah praise him hallelujah praise him hallelujah the train of his woe fills the temple a cloud of heavenly worshippers surrounding your throne we join with them now crying holy holy is the lamb the lamb of god I seek the Lord. I see the Lord. Exalted I above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. For my eyes have seen the King, is the Lamb upon the throne, who reigns forevermore. All of the men we read about, they had an encounter with this Jesus. Now hear me before i attempt to pray for anyone i'm going to make an altar call and there is no cajoling already there are some of you the holy ghost is telling you you are the one who is the savior of your family but you need jesus as a matter of life and death this is not about church leave them please if it's for salvation i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain as i count one to five cry before the god of heaven I see the Lord. I see the Lord. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord. Someday every eye will see his face. You will not need a vision to see him that day. You will not need to be a prophet to see him that day whether you believe him or not a day will come creation will see his face who reigns for a for more be lifted high I... don't be ashamed of your tears let it be brokenness from the depth of your heart he says if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and who will hear me it will take brokenness to host the power that can dislodge altars oh lord believe that heart let my life be the temple of your spirit let my spirit feel the warmth of your embrace let me be a holy habitation where your spirit 
is pleased to dwell. Ah. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer the sacrifice of praise. This is my prayer. Feel this temple, Lord, with your spirit once again. Talk to him. Jesus is here. You are crying, but you are the next prophet that Enugu is waiting for. You may have come from a family that need not call upon the name of the Lord. My dear sister, listen to me. God is still looking for men. God is still looking for men. Gentlemen, God is still looking for men. He has found members. He has even found Christians. But he's looking for men. Who shall I go and who shall go for us? Don't be ashamed of your tears. Just one minute and I'll lead you to pray. And those of you standing, just because you are not kneeling does not mean you should be watching me. You should be talking to the Lord God of heaven. All of us together, we are crying in brokenness before him. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and call. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and pour your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. I'm the one you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. I'm the one saying, I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Now, please listen to me. Many of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Just listen to me. Can I tell you this? Do not be ashamed of starting afresh. God is still looking for men. Don't let any man laugh at you. God is still looking for men. Some of you kneeling here and crying here will be the next apostolic prophetic evangelical voices that will herald the baton of the gospel hallelujah now i'm going to pray for everyone but this lady this catholic nun tap her for me come there is something god is going to use this lady you are seeing I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing that she's going to be a mighty battle axe. This is what I'm seeing. This Catholic nun. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, you are not a nun. Can I tell you this? My dear, God is going to use you so mightily. But I'm going to pray for everyone. Carry this small boy. This boy. Bring him up. Let me show you, Enugu, pay attention to this boy. There is a mighty mantle that is on this boy's life. Bring him. I'm the one you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. Keep him up. Let him walk and come, please. I'm the one saying. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Help him. Just help him. Come.
I don't know whose child this is but I'm seeing this is one of these young men don't despise this boy you are seeing don't idolize him And he said he wants to touch he told me he has been fasting to see me help him help that guy let him not look at him this boy you see has a mighty end time apostolic mantle over the east of the niger you believe what i'm telling you he may look small but from a young age what he needs right now is accurate correct mentorship because these are the kind of people the devil is also looking for if he falls into the wrong hand they will turn this boy into something else and he will abort his destiny but i was just looking and the lord said i should pick this boy and pray for him i usually would not do this in public how old are you how old is he who brought him here i'm 11 you are 11 years bishop it's an honor in your lifetime to see your great great grandchildren those who will be carrying the torch of this gospel i tell you by the authority of scripture he's not the only one according to the vision the lord showed you the bridge between the young and the old god is beginning to pick them now small by small who is that coming up huh oh you are his mother come take care of this boy you see why it's important not only to give birth to children but to inquire of the lord what did i give birth to let me pray for this boy father you have shown us mercy when i pray for you you will go there and see your grandparents and kneel before them let them lay hands and pray for you and then please i don't know who is his pastor or whoever you are the pastor please if push you don't idolize this boy yo, and don't expose him beyond his level of grace he's a little boy because what will happen now is people will start inviting him no don't kill the boy he's still a young boy in training many many young boys have risen like that and they just expose them and in one year they die just because God has located him does not mean God is calling him but God has not sent him yet please allow the boy go I'm saying this as a disclaimer it is not an endorsement on the boy there are many things he needs to learn let him grow biologically spiritually but be like Samuel learning under the prophet stretch your hands towards this boy as a point of contact to the next generation of the mighty move of God in the east of the niger may god forbid it that in the next 10 20 years god will not have men in this city may god forbid it that god will have to use strangers to come and preach is someone praying pray for his family Oh, a mighty vessel indeed. This boy will be marvelously used of God. Marvelously used of God. Use him as a point of contact. Some of them are your children in your homes. Don't despise them. Don't go to church and leave them back at home. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of jesus christ father we pray for this our son we use him as a point of contact to many who are within his age range let the spirit of perversion and destruction never find them in this land this evil of technology mismanaged that is destroying our teenagers destroying their passion we pray that god would deliver this boy and his kind from them yeah.
father begin a journey with him teach him your ways like young samuel i use his mother as a point of contact to pray for the entire family alongside his siblings may they train him and i prophesy luke chapter 2 and verse 52 unto you you will grow in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men please lead him to his grandparents let him go and let them lay hands on this little boy and help him for those of us who are here please lift your right hand with me i want to lead you to make this salvation prayer i'm going to pray god is going to use you but all these attacks are huh? we have to destroy all these attacks many of you here the devil has seen the hand of god upon your life and before you even discover it he's already going ahead to begin to pervert your spiritual experience by giving you false visions and false encounters i cast that spirit out of anyone right now help them any lying spirit appearing as dreams ketela soziasa help them any lying spirit appearing as visions appearing as the prophetic i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood i expose every devil right now whether it was invoked through altars and came from culture manifesting as pseudo prophetic manifesting as pseudo apostolic be delivered now be delivered now if wrong hands were laid on you and you receive wrong impartations that are corrupting you I cause those wrong hands right now I release you from the cause of negative impartations there are many 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 wrong hands that have come on many people and expose them to the realm of the spirit with terrible side effects now let's pray Please, all of you in front here, shout it loud and clear. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for my justification. This afternoon, I declare that Jesus is my only Savior my only Lord my only King I receive eternal life into my spirit I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from now till forever i am a child of god keep your hands lifted father we present to you these ones that jesus died for by the authority of scripture i declare that your sins are forgiven and i declare that you become recipients of the life of god every wrong association every wrong friends everything that needs to live your life to allow you serve god acceptably in the name of jesus we provide it for you i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be built may you be grounded may you be established in the name of jesus christ amen and amen is there anything for them okay here's what i want you to do where are they how are they following give me give me a direction somebody uh, where do they follow that's what i'm saying from here where are they going to the aisles there okay this is what will happen please listen to me i'm about to pray now um for time's sake we may reserve a major part of the miracle service for evening so that we can conserve time but now all of you who are here i'd like you to please rise just follow the aisles there are gentlemen waving their hands please go to them they will have your details and they will follow you up after now let's celebrate them as they go
let's celebrate them as they go now I want to pray very maybe one or two very special prayers let's allow them go please look up this morning when I got up the Lord began to speak to me that there is grace that is going to rest upon this land in this season and that grace is going to start separating people for the call and the move of God there are some of you you represent the next move of God but you do not yet know others are in ministry but you have not opened your heart for the dealing of God that makes you become powerful please follow up on the people as fast as you can maybe let them just write their names and their contacts so that they can return back for prayer I want to pray for you now there are people here who have the call of God some are not yet in ministry some this will be the beginning of your journey in training some of you have started having dreams men and women alike some of you prophecy was upon your life they told you your parents told you they saw something young and old the Lord is ready to begin to recruit his army there is a mighty mighty force that God is building across the nations please don't just come out randomly help her help her help her so she doesn't fall help her please whenever you see anybody under the anointing don't wait until you are an usher please help them so they don't injure themselves all over the world the spirit is moving all over the world like the prophet said it should be all over the world you know the song it's the mighty revelation of the glory of the lord as the waters covers the sea let me pray now the implication of this prayer i'm about to pray is that some of you by reason of this encounter you are stepping into the school of the spirit some of you god will begin to give you assignments pray every 10 to 12 or 12 to 2 every night you see separation like this requires obedience to a fault that's why we spoke about submission before encounters whatever he tells you to do do it as i pray for you please i want you to bring those people only outside father whether you are an usher or not help the ushers don't leave the work for them you gave me an assignment this morning there are people oh god from the loins of prophecy when the missionaries walked upon enugu state when they walked around the east of the niger they left with many prophecies some of them died and did not see it lord as we begin to stand in partnership with the holy spirit preparing this mighty end time army lord among these ones even though everyone is called but there are people uniquely called i pray oh god that in honor to what you showed me and told me this morning let the spirit of the living god begin to move across the crowd and to separate all those who in this season will begin that spiritual training in the name of jesus christ at the count of three please bring them out father use these ones in a mighty way use them over territories young and old one get ready two my god three let that fire come upon you let that fire separate you help them help them please help them help them help them fire bring them hallelujah glory 
Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father who is seated on the throne. Over the east of the Niger, we, we set ignite the flames of revival. Great men like Reinhard Bonke, great men like T.L. Osborne, they have gone to be with the Lord. Lord, where is the next generation of men and women who will carry fire? The Catherine Coleman's, the MP Semple McPherson's, Smith Wigglesworth, John Knox, Ian Bounds. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Don't bring them out. But there are certain people at the minister's son. I just saw fire coming. You don't have to bring those ones out. Let's honor them. But I stretch my hands. Help them. Take that fire. Take help them, my God. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. New season. Take that fire. The servants of the living God. I ignite you. I restore mantles. I restore unctions. Take that fire. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Adoration to the Father, you are seated on the throne. That woman at the back of Bishop, the power of God is coming on two of you. These two women at the back of Bishop, take that fire. In the name of Jesus, an ignition upon your spirit man. Just two minutes and we are done. Everyone pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. New wine. New wine. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight for the kings to arise, for revival to return, for the kings to be born, for revival to return. Yeah. pray lord use me for your glory in this end time everyone is praying father in enugu east of the niger across the nations i am available every spiritual circumcision every pruning i need to pass through i submit myself every pruning every discipline of the spirit every chastening of the spirit that I need to submit myself to. Pray. I submit to your dealings. I submit to your dealings. Shekete beketesh. Kebra kata kata kata. Patosh kata panta kata bala katosh. Fire. 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 An ignition upon my spirit. An ignition upon my ministry, an ignition upon my destiny.
be loved. I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.